In the very popular movie, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, the common ancestor of Gojo Satoru and Okatsu Yuta is introduced as Shugawarano Michizeni, one of the three great vengeful spirits of Japan. This Sugawara Michizeni was an actual human being in Japanese history, and after his death he was very widely worshipped in Japan as a god. The name Shugawarano Michizeni is known to all Japanese. Today, he is especially considered a god of the academy, and there are shrines dedicated to him throughout Japan, and it has become a culture for students to visit shrines dedicated to Michizeni to pray for success in entrance exams. This video will introduce how this Shugawarano Michizeni became a god. Shugawarano Michizeni was born in 845 during the Heian period. The Heian period was a time before the samurai took power, when the emperor and the nobles who were close to the emperor held power. Michizeni was born into a family of intellectuals, a family of officials who were available to the emperor. Michizeni entered university at a very young age, and because of his excellence, he rose steadily through the ranks as an official, and like his grandfather and father, he took a very prestigious position as a professor of history, including Chinese literature and authentic Chinese history, at the young age of 32. In 890, Michizeni was selected as a close confidant of the then emperor and rose rapidly through the ranks, becoming very famous in later Japan for submitting a motion in 894 calling for the abolition of the Japanese envoys to the Tang Dynasty. Japan had been sending envoys to the Tang Dynasty in China on a regular basis since 630 to learn about technology and institutions and to obtain Buddhist scriptures, but Michizeni requested the abolition of these envoys because of the decline of the dynasty. Later, when the emperor who had placed great importance on Michizeni abdicated, Michizeni continued to be placed under the patronage of the next emperor for a while, but was exiled from Kyoto for alleged planning to abolish the emperor and make his relative the new emperor, and was forced to move alone to a region far from Kyoto, where he lived in poverty. He died two years later. It is not known whether this plan actually existed, but it is said that the reason was that Michizeni had promoted so fast that many other nobles were jealous of him. Now, how did such a Michizeni become a god? After Michizeni's death, the emperor, the crown prince, and even influential nobles, including nobles who had banished him, died, and there was an epidemic of plague, in addition to the continuous sunshine, which greatly affected agricultural production. For this reason, the emperor and nobles built a number of shrines to appease Michizeni's anger. As time went by, Michizeni was no longer feared as a vengeful spirit, but was worshipped as a god by the people. Japan is a polytheistic country, and the Japanese believe that there are various gods rather than a single god as in Christianity. It seems that the belief in Michizeni spread as people believed that Tenjin-sama, the god originally believed in by the people, was actually Michizeni. Today, there are at least 4,000 shrines dedicated to Michizeni, and he has become a god that is very much rooted in the lives of the Japanese people.